I'm going to show you how to quickly take your seamless studio pattern and open it up in Photoshop and apply it to a design. So what we're going to take is this pattern from Seamless Studio and make this bag easily. Okay, so first of all I have my pattern here in Seamless Studio and what I'm going to do, um, well first I'll show you, you can change the canvas settings and I have it currently at a thousand, two thousand. Um, if you read the blog post, you can see the different sizes of the canvas sizes and how it portrays onto the actual design. So uh, moving on from that, basically you'll want to go to File, Export as a JPEG, and then you'll want to save it somewhere accessible and then go into Photoshop. Um, you should be able to use Elements even for this. It's pretty simple, but I am using Photoshop CS5 just for reference. And um, you'll want to open the file and let me get my pattern here. Here we go. Okay, so this is the JPEG of my pattern from Seamless. And it's at a thousand by a thousand pixels. That's what the resolution is. And so you'll just want to go up to edit. In Photoshop, you'll want to go up to edit, define a pattern, and just hit OK or name it something special. Um, and then you'll want to go over to your tote file and you'll want your base layer to be the bag. I have a white layer underneath it because um, it has a transparent background when you open the PDF. Um, so you'll want the tote file to be the bottom piece and as you can see from this file there's a bunch of layers that make up the bag. So all you'll need to do is make an extra layer. You want an empty layer above the tote bag and then you'll want to go to your tools over here and take the magic wand and have it set on the magic wand tool. And then you'll just want to select the pieces that you're going to want to fill in. So this selection is the main piece of the bag. Plus, make sure you select between the little uh, donut here to select that space. And then you'll want to select the paint bucket and then make sure you have the layer above the tote PDF um, selected so that you're not actually coloring the PDF itself because you want to keep them separate. So um, after you do that, you want to make sure up here in your paint bucket uh, selections up here, you'll want to change it from foreground, which it should default, default as, um, which would paint them with these colors here. So you'll want to go to pattern and then you'll want to select the correct pattern like these are all different sizes that I have here. Um, so I want to click create um, the pattern with the largest size that I just saved which would be the last selection. And then you'll want to make sure you have that layer selected, the empty one, and just fill it up. Um, and then control D for deselect or sorry, um, let's see. Okay, so that's how you fill the, uh, the pattern space. And you're more than welcome, obviously, to, to select you know, this space. And that's how you would fill the other areas of the bag. Just keep selecting and creating. I create a new layer for each selection as far as colors and things go. Like I want this base of the bag be the same color as say this and this. So you want to hold down shift while you keep selecting these areas. Make sure you get the white space so that it selects everything. Um, so I'm wanting all of this say leather pieces or whatever vinyl that they're using for this bag. You'll want to make sure you have it all selected so that it will all be the same color if that's what you want. You can always go back and fix it. Okay, so I have the tote PDF 
base layer selected, I will want to make sure that I have my empty layer selected, get my paint bucket, and I need to change the selection from pattern, otherwise it'll just fill it with my same pattern. So I changed it to foreground, and let's say I want a brown color. something like that and I just fill it up make sure all the selections you wanted were there and then you can go to select deselect or command D so that fills that up and then I still need the background here filled up so I want to click on the tote PDF file so that I can select these spaces And oops. And then I want to fill that with something else. I'll just fill it with, say, black or something. Oops. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you make a new layer and then fill it. And then see, I forgot this space is in here. So I want to reselect them, click on that same layer because I'm using the same color and fill it up. So there's some other areas here I need to fill in. Um, I'd probably maybe pick some different colors for the interior or whatnot, but that's basically how you do that. And then you'll want to um, go to File, Save As, and then save it as a JPEG, as a copy. And then you can upload that to the contest. That is it, I hope that's helpful.